There is a lot of confusion around sentence transformer and rightly so. The confusion arises from the similar name or I should say identical name. It all depends upon the context that you get to know what exactly we are referring to when we say the word sentence transformer. Sentence transformer refers to a model and it also refers to a Python library. As I said, it all depends upon the context. When you use it in a singular way, it refers to a Python library. When you refer to it in a plural way like sentence transformers, we normally refer to the embedding model. Embedding models are used for semantic search or RAG, whereas this sentence transformer Python library, this is used to load these models. And if we want to use these models, then we need this sentence transformer library. On the hugging face, you see that this distal word is a model. It's a sentence transformers model. I have added an S after transformer. And this is a Python library, which is also called as sentence transformers. But the thing is that we normally use it in a singular when we are using it in action. So this is a difference between these two. So whenever someone is referring to in a plural, that means they are referring to the embedding model or the sentence transformer model. And when someone is referring to it in a singular, it means they are referring to the Python library. Now, Let's get it installed and then we will also use a sentence transformers model and we will be using this sentence transformer library to load that sentence transformers model. So let me take you to my local system. And my local system is a VM and I will be using one GPU card from NVIDIA RTX A6000. Both of them have been generously sponsored by Mast Compute. So if you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices with no lock-in contract with very high quality, I would highly recommend them. I will also drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am going to put a coupon code which will give you 50% discount on already discounted GPUs. So please do check them out. Now let me take you to my local VM. This is the local VM where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my NVIDIA GPU card, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. Also, I am running Conda here to keep everything separate from my local installation. If you don't have it, uh, I would highly recommend you install it. It's not mandatory, but it's always a good idea to get it installed. Okay, now let me create a Conda environment here and we will then get cracking. So I'm just calling it ST. And it is going to install it just press y here and it is going to create that conda environment for you let's activate it and that is done let's clear the screen now next up let's install the sentence transformer library which is a python library and i'm just installing it with the pip it be done very quickly Let's wait for it to finish. Sentence transformer library is installed. Let me clear the screen. And now let's launch our Python interpreter. And then we will import this transformers library. Did not take too long. And now we will be loading our sentence transformers model with the help of this library. You see, we have imported this function here. And with the help of this sentence transformer function, we are loading a sentence transformer model. So this is the difference and relationship of these two. And it is loading it because these models are quite lightweight. So it has um, completed very, very quickly. Okay. Now let me give it a sentence data. And this is the right time to describe what exactly sentence transformer does. So what sentence transformer does is if you are looking to see what is the similarity between some of the sentences or text, then the best approach to do is, is through sentence transformers. For example, there are these three lines. I love dogs, cats are amazing and dogs are the best. And we have stored them in a list or in array. If you want to 
find out the similarity between these sentences you first need to convert these sentences into numerical representation which is also called as embedding or vector and then with the help of a function which could be a similarity function we evaluate whether they are similar or not all this task is done by the sentence transformer model it is also called as by encoder model and in some way semantic model there are different names but embedding model or sentence transformer model is the more popular one so if you want to do the text classification if you want to find out the semantics or semantic mean the meaning if you want to find out the meaning of the sentences and how similar they are sentence transformer is the go now let me take you to a diagram where it is best um, explained so uh, let me quickly take you there now you see that these are the three sentences which i just showed you so on the left hand side we have these sentences and on the right hand side we have their numerical representation of the sentences this numerical representation is in 1024 or 1024 dimensional space which is a very high space because it has um, 1024 different values so just one sentence has been represented in these 1024 values and you can think of it like a coordinate system with 1024 axis of course we cannot um represent it on the screen it is very very hard or nearly impossible but these values represents a coordinate of a point in 1024 dimensional dimensional space which captures the meaning and context of the input sentence so that is why we have represented it like this so every sentence here has been represented in 1024 dimensions okay so all three have been uh, represented like that now this square bracket this is called a vector or embedding now this is called as uh, embedding now another thing to note down here is the similarity so we just create an similarity array where we just uh, calculate the similarity score between these sentences the similarity array, array or list represents how similar each sentence is to every other sentence so if you look at this array you will see there are some uh, diagonal elements such as this one diagonal is that if you go from top to bottom or left to right you will intersect here so the score is one it means that both of i love dogs here in this column and in this row they are identical so that is why the score is the highest one now if you check i love dog and cats are amazing totally different the score is very low it is 0.2 see and if you go there i love dogs and dogs are the best the score is quite high 0.8 it's not highest but high because both contain the word dog similarly cats are amazing and i love dogs the score is very low so it means they are not similar but the second row second column here on this diagonal one it is one it means that they are identical similarly you see dogs are the best they are 0.1 score is very low so this is how it works another thing is that you see there are some off diagonal elements off diagonal elements i mean that uh that they are not located on the main diagonal from the top left to the bottom right so for example you will see this one so it is um, i mean if you look at this so what is happening here is that for example if you go to point 2 let's say so i love dog and cats are amazing so you can go with the row but if you go to the column you won't be intersecting it so this is called as off diagonal so off diagonal uh, elements represent the similarity score between different sentences so they are quite valuable when it comes to finding out the relationship between different sentences so this is how uh, first we convert this into this embedding and then this embedding is put here where we just calculate the similarity score and this is what is done by the sentence transformer models it just takes in this input syntax um, sentences convert them into embeddings and then find out the similarity score so now you understand what exactly this um, sentence transformer model does that plus 
another thing to note down that is this is mostly used in the retrieval augmented generation which i will mention at the very end i already have done various videos there anyway so now let's go back to our terminal where we were talking about all of this stuff like we already have mentioned these sentences now let's calculate the embeddings of it which which is the first screen which i showed you so i'm just calling this encode function that is done let me print it out and that is going to pr print the shape of the embedding there you go so the shape of the embedding is 3 comma 384 now what this 3 comma 384 is telling us that there are three sentences and the dimension space is 384 in our example in this one we had 3 comma 1024 because we had three sentences but our in this example we had three sentences but our dimension was 1024 but in this case we have three sentences and dimension is 384 so this is what this is telling us the shape of the embedding nextly let's get the uh, similarity score now i'm just calculating the similarity here and then uh, let's print it out and that is going to show us the similarity array so similarly but what we saw earlier so it is just telling us similar thing what we saw in this one that how much similar they are let's go back here it is it is just uh, you can just plot it on that table and you will see that of course the first one is one because if you see here first in the first column first row the diagonal one it is always be one because the sentences are identical and you if you see in this tensor the first one is one then this is again one this is again one they are identical and then some are very close like 0.7 some are very far like 0.5 and some are very far so that is how the similarity search is done so once that is written it is just fed into the model now if you go broader after this embedding model there's another type of model which is called as re-ranker so what re-ranker does for example if this embedding model has returned um, 10 similar results you don't want to return all 10 you just want to return top three so that is where re-ranker ranks those responses and returns top k or just three um, results back so this is how this thing works now in the real world what happens is that whenever you are using rag or retrieval augmented generation what it means is you take your own file text file you convert it into numerical representation or embedding then you store that embedding in a vector store or vector database so whenever a user asks a question a prompt you convert that into numerical representation that prompt you take that numerical representation you do a similarity search in your vector store and you um, just return the similar vectors maybe top k vectors and then that is given to the model so that uh, after augmenting it with your prompt so that the model will have context of your theory and your own data so that is what these models embedding models or sentence transformers model do and then that is why we use this sentence transformer library i know that i have repeated a lot of things a lot of time but this is quite confusing i have received a lot of comments and questions so that is why i thought of doing this video i hope that this was useful if you are still confused or still have any other questions please let me know and uh, i have tried to make it as easy as possible that's it guys let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching